Hey everybody, so I thought I'd do a quick video. I have a couple of drives, uh, one that's definitely going to fail in my Synology NAS and one that is probably going to uh, fail. So there are two, uh, both of them are uh, 10 terabyte Iron Wolf drives, not the pros, just the normal one. And the warranty had just expired. I should have actually uh, traded one in before the warranty expired, but I didn't. Oh, well. So I'll make this video where I'm going to replace it with a 12, uh, 12 terabyte drive. And eventually I'll replace all the drives with 12 terabytes. So I just want to show you the, the process of doing it here. This is my first time doing it myself. But technically you could just go pull out the drive. The RAID will degrade and then you rebuild it. But there's actually a uh, more uh, proper and, and uh, prim way of doing it. Uh, you just go to the volume, or you go to the hard drive, and you can right click and say uh, deactivate drive. And then that should uh, degrade the, the RAID right away. And then I will go and put that in. Uh, the, the the new drive and then start rebuilding it and we'll also see how long it takes so for me it was drive 2 and drive 3 that were having a lot of um, failed sectors and it looks like drive 2 is the one that's gonna go really soon so now the raid has degraded so if we go here it's degraded and i'll show you uh, me putting in the new drive so as soon as i deactivated the drive which is the one in orange here you can see which is pretty good so you can find out where it is it's beeping like crazy so i'm gonna eject this drive pull out the uh, plastic uh, mounting hardware, which is pretty easy, plop it out, take the new drive, take it out of its packaging, so here's the new drive. Put that in. And we're ready to put it back in. Now we'll go back to the computer. And there we go. Now it's going to rebuild. All right, so it started to repair. And we'll see how long it takes to repair. It's currently Tuesday at 2.33 p.m and we'll see how long it takes. So it took about eight hours and 15 minutes to restore the uh, 20 terabyte volume, 
to SHR1, which means I can lose one drive. If I lose more than one drive, the RAID goes bye-bye. Uh, I like to have it as SHR2, which means I could lose two drives before anything bad happens. And to do that, I will need to replace one of the other 10 terabyte drives, which obviously the one that has bad sectors is the one that's going to be replaced. And I'll replace that with a 12 terabyte drive, and then I can get SHR2 again. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and you'll see more of these videos coming soon.